What's up YouTube? How is everyone doing today? I hope everyone's having a great day. Man, do I have another project uh, vlog for you guys today. But before we get to this Mandarin project vlog, we are actually shipping a lot of snakes out to Marco Morphe and Club More Pythons and Jessica Bellica. I'm gonna show off a couple of stuff that they're getting and then we're gonna pull out a Mandarin clutch, which is kind of a crazy clutch. I'll explain why it's crazy. Then we're gonna cut a mandarin our last mandarin clown clutch hopefully we had a couple of mandarins and then we're going to show off some of the mandarin stuff and some projects that i'm working on for this season that i'm excited to hit because i believe we will hit a couple of super mandarin combos this season so let's get started all right guys so let's start off with some of the snakes that marco morphe reptiles is getting and i mean dude everything he picked up is beyond powerhouse look at this one right here right here we have a cypress clown female man that is a powerhouse there's not many of these around and then next we have a od inchi zmorph or zuwadi a het pied one of two only females that are that were made last season and then we have this little guy right here that is in shed but right here we have a yellow belly clown pied you can see these guys have some really good size on them man guys do me a big favor marco has some other stuff that's in his box Go give him a follow on his Instagram and on Facebook. You don't want to miss out on what he's getting. He's such a really great guy, man. We've developed this really good friendship just from back and forth. And this guy's in the Netherlands, but big shout out to Marco Murphy, man. Another snake that's going out of the country, it's to Andy from Club More Pythons. And he is picking up this massively powerhouse male right here. Right here, we have a spot nose, bamboo, yellow belly, red stripe, clown look at this guy man that is beautiful i'm actually keeping the sister to him see i made two of these so yeah one of them's going out to uh andy out there in the uk and i'll be keeping the other one man pretty cool snake right here but yeah so that's all the snakes that we're shipping out i am shipping some stuff out to justin but i had just messaged him and he said i had to keep it under wraps because they're like that like top secret yeah just playing <laughs> Kind of, not really. All right, guys, let's get to this Mandarin stuff. All right, so I'm gonna start off with showing off some of my Mandarin recessive uh, snakes that I've already made. When I say recessive, I mean getting Mandarin into like pies, Mandarin into clowns, and this has been so crazy. The only problem is I've hit like nothing but males. I think two female visuals, but um, it's just so hard, you know, like I want, I mean, not too many people have made these snakes and I've been getting hit up so much on them, which reminds me, I am going to put a few of them up on Morph Market. So if you guys are interested, uh, my Morph Market is going to be on the description down below. I'm going to have a lot of snakes that are going to go in up by the time this vlog comes up. But let's start off with some Mandarin Clowns and then we'll show off some Mandarin Pies and then we'll get to cutting and pulling out this clutch. All right, guys, so check these out. Right here we have a mandarin blade clown see how the orange on this you know on the on the belly how crazy it is man a little different from uh from orange dream a little more a little darker you can see like the nice little head stamp but yeah you know these uh these males right here man came out really really pretty here's another one again you can see how orange. i don't know how, if the camera's picking it up gosh man, i'm telling you guys these things are a lot more orange in person everyone that's came and seen them already they have been going crazy over them i just don't know if i want to release any yet like i said i have a uh, two more males and uh one female and after really thinking about it, I'm like, you know what, man, I can't just hold off to all these Mandarin stuff. So I will be putting a few of them up for sale. And guys, I'm telling you, the Mandarin, the super is where it's at, man. Again, these are the two Mandarin uh, clowns that, I, uh, that I've produced. And I'll show you some other Mandarin stuff that I'm working on and I've made. And you guys can see the difference on them. All right, guys, so check this out, man. Right here, we have a Mandarin head clown female. This one right here is a holdback. As you guys could see right here, how the orange works on this really, really rustic looking. Really, really love this female right here, man. And then this one right here is a mandarin gravel or yellow belly um, hat pied. Look at this, man. Isn't this freaking insane? I mean, that is freaking nuts, dude. I love the way that, man, it's so cool starting to see how mandarin, you know, works with other jeans. And again, look at this, man. I mean, that is so freaking insane. I'll show you guys a couple of other Mandarin stuff, um, but I really wanted to show these two uh, females off. I think they're very, very fine examples of Mandarin stuff. But now, let's get to my favorite ones and show off some Mandarin pie. All right, so let's start off with my favorite Mandarin pie that I've hatched that I am holding back. Um, look at this guy, man. Look how pretty that is. 
Let me see on the camera how it's looking toward us. Oh yeah, that's picking it up, man. And it's not even picking it up to its full potential. But look at this, man. So we've noticed about Mandarin Pies, we have made a few that have been Paradox, as you can see this one right here. We actually hit a Mojave Mandarin Paradox, I'll show you guys in a little bit. And here is another Mandarin Pied that will be going up on Morph Market. And again, like see a little bit of the Paradox as well. I don't know if it's something that the Mandarin Pied's doing or it's another thing, but look at these guys, man. They are super dark orange. And man, what I love about them as well too is that you could tell that Mandarin with Pied is showing off a lot of pattern and not making the snake all white. But again, look at this. How beautiful is that? And both of them are boys. This one will be staying here with me. But yeah, man, these are some beautiful, beautiful Mandarins. All right, guys, so here we have a Mandarin Mojave Pied, and then we have this other Mandarin Mojave Paradox Pied. I mean, look how beautiful these things came out. You guys all seen some how Mojave Pies look already. They're a little darker, but these are bringing out definitely some more like orange, like gold colors to them, as you can see. And the cool thing about it, man, this is the only pairing that was, it was just a Mojave Pied to a Mandarin Head Pied, and these beauties came out. I gotta see, figure out, man, what this whole paradox thing is coming out, because that's something that's in one of my snakes, or, you know, if it's just Mandarin with pies, I don't know, man. I think it's gonna be something really big and awesome. But again, these right here are some Mojave Mandarin pies. And here is another powerhouse, man. Right here we have a Mandarin Inchi, 100% head clown female. This girl is beautiful, man. I love how the Mandarins, man, darken up the heads. Something that about it is just freaking cool. Now I wanted to show this one off because I wanted to show off a male Mandarin inch that I have that is breeding right now. And as you can see the difference as they've got an older man, they still look really, really good. So let me just put this in the way and then I'm show those off and then we'll get to cutting and pulling that clutch out. Here is the Mandarin Inchi male that I am, that I'm using right now. He's currently breeding for me. Man, so I can't wait to see the Super Mandarin Inchi. I'm telling you guys, man, the Super Mandarin is where it's at. And I think this season is gonna be so big for the Mandarin project. I'll show you guys two more real quick, just cause when I went to go pull this guy out, I just remembered that I had a couple of other ones that I can't go without showing. Look at this one right here. Right here we have a pastel inchy mandarin and look how bright and orange this thing is another female over here that i'm growing up i mean look look at that man that is so freaking orange so a lot of you guys are probably wondering man, how does a base morph look of just the mandarin so i'm gonna show you guys one of the best example mandarins that i've hatched out here that'll just that screams mandarin so i put this away and right here is a base morph of the mandarin as you guys could see it's really a rustic orange and kind of like granite like looking right here in the body. Now I have noticed, you know, hatching some, you know, het clowns, het pies that, you know, sometimes the het influences the pattern and the color a little, but I've got it down pretty well, man. I'm like 100% positive on what's Mandarin and what's not. Again, they do have a very dark head and they have a very granite like, you know, dark rustic orange on the belly. And yeah, this right here is what I consider a, whoa, 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 crazy. A crazy snake. A perfect example for a mandarin. So that's enough mandarin talk right now. Um, I'll show you some projects that I am working with and then um, we'll get to the cool stuff. All right, so here's the cool stuff. Let's start off first with the mandarin head clown female. She's the one that we're gonna pull this clutch out of. And look at that, man, five really good eggs. Here's the problem with this that I was telling you guys earlier. You know, in the beginning, we paired her up with our Mandarin Head Clown. You know, they had two good locks and out of nowhere, he just stopped breeding. So then we ended up putting a Black Pastel Hypo Clown um, Head DG in there. So again, both both should be really good uh, pairings. Um, I hope she ends up taking the sperm from the Mandarin Head Clown because that'll give us a great chance to see the Super Mandarin Clown, which I think is gonna be the most insane next level snake. Next, we have this Mandarin Hypo. I hope you guys could see it. Man, it's very, very orange and purple. Now, this one, I know the camera has a lot of trouble, you know, picking up all the colors on it. it but maybe if I put it down right here. Yeah, the camera's not picking it up. Anything, it just lightens it up a little. But I'm telling you, man, this snake in person is insane. And then we have this mandarin right here it's another regular mandarin and she is getting bred to a mandarin calico hypo hopefully we can get some super mandarin she's also possible head hypo then we have another mandarin here she is breeding to the inchi mandarin we have a mandarin red serp right here we're just going to start painting her up and another mandarin head pie that's breeding to our other mandarin head pie hopefully we can hit the super mandarin pie all right so pairing to this right here was a blade clown female bred to a mandarin clown male so hopefully we hit some mandarin clowns and we hit some females 
because like I said, I'm really, really male heavy. But I'm telling you guys, a lot of stuff's gonna be up on Morph Market. These eggs look really, really healthy. So they're big, big eggs, man. All right, let's start off with the first one. Please be a visual, visual Mandarin. And this right here looks to be just like a- uh, Belly up. A normal belly up. I would say it's a normal head clown, possible blade. This right here, I believe to be a Mandarin. I can see right here like the orange, a little granite-like and the head again, it's really, really dark. These eggs are big. All right, guys, come on, get some clowns in here. I did the same pairing um, on another snake, man, and I got mostly all visuals. Uh, okay, that's just gonna be a, a, just a regular clown or possible blade clown. Again, you don't see none of the dark orange, you know, coloring on that. So this right here is just a regular clown. Okay, so this right here, I'm positive this is a mandarin. This looks black pastel. It kind of does. Right? Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. It's so weird because, but you know what? Some of you know the some of the mandarin clowns that have been made. I know Vivid made some. They looked literally like a black pastel clown. I haven't really made any normal just mandarin clowns. I've made some blade mandarin clowns and some inchy mandarin clowns. So let's see right here. Let's see what else is next. Okay, here's another. Oh, this one's hard to tell. So this for sure is a Mandarin clown. These two right here are just normal clowns. Oh man, this is a Mandarin for sure. Again, you can see like the rustic orange on the belly. Man, so far, eh, not that good. Oh, here we go. That's a Mandarin clown. Kind of crazy looking though, huh? Look at the head. That is really, really crazy. This egg right here, man. I believe is bad. I'm probably just gonna poke a hole in it because that is a lot of fluids. Oh, the snake is in there. That was kind of crazy though, right? And I believe this right here is also a mandarin. Wow, this thing's full of freaking fluid. I've never cut an egg like that. It's a good thing you it's didn't moving. snap it any harder. Dude, I know, <laughs> right? That is crazy. All right, guys, so I'm definitely gonna do an update on these bad boys as well. I'm gonna put these away and let's pull out that clutch. All right, guys, so here is the clutch. This is clutch number two of the season against the Mandarin Heck Clown. And we have five good eggs. So cool, man. Like all like the season's already starting off really good. We had some great uh, lockups the other day, which I'm gonna share some pictures right now while I pull these eggs out. Um, David, my awesome editor, put these pictures up of these awesome locks. Yeah, guys, so some of those locks right there, as you can see, we had a clown sunset that was breeding to a lavender uh, pied. Hopefully, we get some quads right there. Then we had an OD YB uh, Desert Ghost Hat Hypo breeding to a pastel uh, Cypress Hat Hypo. And then we had some double head sunset clowns breeding to some double heads. And we had some black pastel hypo clown head DG breeding to a Cypress Hypo. I mean, there's so much cool locks in there, man. But yeah, I'm really, really excited about this season. This season, we're gonna go for a lot of double and triple head stuff. All right, so we have these eggs out here. We're gonna candle them and then we're gonna get all the information and hopefully the Mandarin got her. We had some super Mandarin stuff. All right, guys, so all the veins look really good. Just gonna line them up as always. This is a great start off to 2021, man. Wish us luck on this. I know we only have five eggs, but you know, I've hit some crazy stuff just out of three eggs. Hopefully we hit that super mandarin cloud. And guys, I'm gonna get all the information and then Tina's gonna put this in the incubator. I wanna tell you guys, thank you very much. Um, stay tuned for our next vlog because a very, very important vlog for us. Um, there's a dog rescue place out here that's losing its business due to COVID. Um, they were renting a house there. They have over 50 animals. We had a couple celebrities show up there to help us out with it. Um, it is in my town and this lady does need some help. So guys, please stay tuned for that vlog as well. But as always, man, we appreciate all the support. Till next time, peace.